여러분 안녕하세요. 미래의 돈을 만나보겠습니다. 퓨처머니. 자 오늘은요. 어, 웹3 플랫폼 개발사인 갤럭시스의 코파운더이자 CEO인 안드라스 크리스토프 CEO를 인터뷰해 보도록 하겠습니다. 지난 2013년부터 블록체인 업계의 OG 기업가이고요. 2억 달러의 성공적인 퇴장을 이뤘었던 위키닷컴의 전 CTO이기도 하죠. 자, CEO 안드라스 크리스토프가 전하는 이야기를 들어볼 텐데요. 아시아 최초로 비트코인 ATM을 설치하고 초기 시절부터 이더리움과 협력해서 일을 했다고 합니다. 바로 만나보도록 하겠습니다. Hello, thank you for having us today and joining us and interviewed with us. Uh, please tell me a little bit about yourself, to Korean viewers. Uh, sure. My name is Andras. Um, I've been an entrepreneur and uh, technologist for uh, for a long time, and uh, I started my career, my, my successful, successful career, career actually in uh, in with a Korean company, as I think you mentioned, Wiki.com, where I was one of the first employees, and and I had the uh, the pleasure and the opportunity to build up the. Team and the technology behind Wiki.com, which was uh, uh, founded by Chang Sang and Jibon in Korea. So I joined them in Korea and then we moved to Singapore. And uh, uh, I was there leading the technology team almost until uh, the company got uh, uh, purchased by, uh, by Rakuten. After that, in 2013, I started my own uh, businesses. And uh, joined the blockchain uh, scene. Uh, Bitcoin was about thirty dollars, and Ethereum did not exist yet when we built and deployed the first Bitcoin ATM in Asia. And then we uh, deployed our own layer one chain. But then we uh, moved on to Ethereum when Ethereum became available in two thousand fifteen. And we started to work with projects uh, and with uh, great companies like Consensus, like Chainlink. Like uh, the Ethereum Foundation and Ethereum News Services, and we have been working in the scene uh, ever since. And Galaxy is our first uh, public-facing product that we have been working on for the last three years. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, great journey for yourself. Uh, probably it's been a long journey to you as a blockchain entrepreneur. How did you step into this industry ten years ago? When I was first introduced to, uh, to, uh, to blockchain, that there was only Bitcoin. There wasn't uh, really anything else. But even then, the fundamental use of the technology was, uh, was getting very clear. It is that it enables individual people to exchange value over the internet without the need of any third party. Yeah. I think this is the most important, uh, value proposition of blockchain technology and uh, this has been the most important i think it's still the most important uh, thing and what we are building with galaxies is utilizing this particular uh, feature before we get into the project i just want to ask you about your opinion that you have seen so many ups and downs from nothing to seventy thousand dollars for bitcoin recently do you think this market get matured? Definitely. And I think with getting, uh, being more mature, it will also become less exciting. Mm. And I think uh, we really need this market to be less, less exciting. And uh, because after we kind of pass this, uh, this hype phase, then we can actually get to work and use the technology for for what it is really good for. Okay, uh, then in, in terms of a mass adoption, it's very important, I think, a crypto market industry still have a challenges. What do you think the main reason for these obstacles? I think the main reason is because it's still being considered as a, a very volatile market, a very, a very, uh, a market that can go up and down very seriously. Yeah. And in order to to gain mass adoption, the whole thing has to kind of sink into the sea of boringness. The same way as in the early 2000s, the web, the internet was in this hype phase. 
but after it all kind of uh, uh, went down, it we started to use the internet really in a way uh, that it was meant to be, and now the internet is absolutely part of our lives, and we we cannot actually do business without it. For blockchain technology, we need to get to the same level. I think the technology has to become boring, and part of every company's uh, technology stack. And when we get there, then we achieve mass adoption. But in order to do that, we need to go through this speculative phase. And it has to become boring. Okay, let's move on to the galaxies to achieve or to make adoption easier. You have established yourself the galaxies. I just want to ask you about what is the galaxies and how the idea of galaxies was born. Galaxies is a community management platform mm -hmm. where that enables any creative person yeah. to monetize their own creativity. This is what I meant when I said at the beginning that the that the most important value of blockchain technology yeah. is to enable anybody to uh, to give value over the internet to somebody else without a third party. And when we are talking about value, it's not only monetary value, but it's also value that is, that is uh, for example, being valued in a community. So somebody who is, uh, who is a creative person, there could be an artist, an actor, a YouTuber, a cosplayer, an athlete, or an open source developer, they are providing some value and they have a community who is interested in what they are doing. Yes. Through this technology, through galaxies, they can create their own community and give value to the community members. And they can also enable the community members to support the project. Mm -hmm. And once they created this community, nobody can take it from them. This is the very important part uh, about blockchain technology that uh, you as the creator of the community can create this we call them membership cards your own membership card and give it to your community members and through this membership cards you can keep giving them value and you can also enable them to support you and your project and once you created this membership card nobody can take it from you nobody can take it from your community members galaxies is not a replacement to your current ways of communicating. So you do keep using YouTube, Twitter, and all the other platforms. What Galaxies gives you is a way to always be able to reach your community and your community to always able to support you. So if you need to leave a platform for any reason, we have seen it many times for, for this reason or that reason, now you will not lose your community. You may have to change the communication platform, but you are still, you still have your community. You can still give them value and they can still support you. So what Galaxies give you, give you is an unstoppable community. And I think this is, uh, this is the most important uh, value proposition uh, for Galaxies. Okay, it sounds very uh, interesting. Also, it sounds very community driven. Uh, yes. Community driven is a primary initiative, I think, to the galaxies. Yeah. Then, why should you choose community driven? How they become the honor to join in? This is, I think, community driven is very important because, if I may, I think one of the biggest problems right now on the internet yeah. and in the world as well that uh, the only thing that has value is attention. So if something or somebody can grab attention with any means because of a scandal, because of they are being, I'm sorry, be, being idiots or, or, you know, night jobs or whatever, then the algorithms consider that as value because many people will, will want to see. It. And what happened is, uh, over the years, unfortunately, that every other value of a community has disappeared. And the only value that remained is attention. 
and that kind of take everything into the wrong way. Yeah. So with with the community approach, community centric approach of Galaxies, you can create your own community, and you can establish your own values. What actually being valued by your community? Because obviously, a community of uh, I don't know chess players value different things than a community of uh, of a, a politician or or an artist or an actor. And with community, you can set up your your own community with with galaxies. You can set up your community in a way that that community will express the values of what you think it's important. So in this way, I hope we can bring back a little bit of normalcy into the world by providing a way so other things can be valued again, not only attention. I just want to ask you about some in detail question. Yeah. The key elements of galaxies and the way of working, some of the yeah. technology stuff. Mm -hmm. It's a, uh, it's basically a membership card based system. What you create is a digital membership card. When you when you use the platform to create this membership card, mm -hmm. all the components are transferred under your property. So once you created your your community, so to say, which is the first step is to have your own membership card. You are the only owner, and from that point on, even galaxies cannot take it from you. And then you can give out these membership cards to your community members. Mm -hmm. These membership cards, in technology, they are NFTs. These are non-fungible tokens, but these are very much supercharged non-fungible tokens. So we don't actually like to use the word NFTs to it, because many times NFTs are referring to more like a very specific type of uh, type of project mm -hmm. and voila, and what galaxies can do uh, is is much more than that these are digital membership cards that are owned by you as the creator yeah. and then owned by your community members and on these membership cards you can add value for example just a very few examples you can if you are an artist and you are creating physical art you can add a redeemable badge on one of the uh, membership cards of a, of a member. Yeah. And when they click on it, they will have the interface to put in their name, their, their shipping address, and that you will receive. So you can actually send them the piece of art or, or jersey or whatever is, is a physical object within your community. So through the membership card, and the community members can enjoy it. And since it's their own property, they can always decide what to do with it. They can engage it uh, themselves, or they can give it to somebody, or they can sell it on the open market. Because these cards are, as we know, are very similar to physical objects in the sense that once you have received them, nobody can take it from you. Very interesting. I think it's, it brings the enhancement of community loyalty as well. Then I have found some explanation of the membership card on the website. Also, you mentioned about the web uh, membership card. Then mm -hmm. what is the difference from the uh, NFTs? Oh, yes. Uh, it is basically supercharged NFTs with a lot of extra features and functions. This is something that you as a creator can give uh, physical reading members, digital reading members, perks, utilities, privileges to your members yeah. through this membership card, including loyalty points. And what they can do, do through the membership card is give you support. Support can come in many ways. For example, they can top up their membership card with, uh, uh, with USDT and, uh, and give you a monthly subscription so they become a VIP member. So through these cards, value can go both ways. You can give value to your community members and whatever value means, and they can give you support so you can maintain and uphold your project. That's why it is it can actually be good for any sort of businesses, including open source projects and uh, 
and web applications as a as a way of uh, of acquiring members and providing them support from from that all the way up to the artists and uh, and actors and other people who do have a large community. Uh, communication via using physical card is very good idea for the public understanding. I think. Yes. Uh, yeah. Imagine these cards mm. like uh, physical cards that are actually exist in the digital space. So because because these cards, NFTs and these membership cards that the Galaxy is creating, has some properties of physical objects. Mm-hmm. Because the properties of physical objects, let's say I have this uh, have this mug here uh, with me. This mug cannot be taken from me to the internet. This is mine. Yes, I can do whatever I want with it. I can give it to you. I can sell it on eBay, or I can break it. Very similarly with the digital membership cards of Galaxies. If you give me one of your membership cards, it's mine. I can do whatever I want with it. I can give it away. I can sell it. I can destroy it. So that's why what we are uh, what we are saying is that these digital objects, these membership cards that we that we built uh, at Galaxies, work a little bit like physical objects. They are not physical objects, but it's not like a user account that can be switched off and taken from me, because once I received it. It's always mine. As my simple understanding, it is based on NFT ecosystem and、yes. physical card system. Then, actually, what makes you choose and keep maintaining the NFT business in spite of the collapsing NFT market two years ago? Unfortunately, because so, how do I put this? What is、uh, what everybody called the NFT market is not the NFT market.、Mm. It's a PFP market, and PFPs are a very specific, very small segment of what NFTs can do. That's right. Everybody who talks about NFTs, they actually mean PFPs. And what Galaxies can do is they can take the technology. And move it beyond the hype, and make it actually useful for communities. So, what these membership cards can do is to put these memberships, put these communities on the basis of utility and not on the basis of speculation. The NFT market that you are talking about, which is the PFP market, was. Mostly based on speculation. What Galaxies is doing, it's taking the technology which was actually driving that, and making it actually utility based and useful for everybody, not only for the Web3 ecosystem. And I think for all of us who are in the Web3 ecosystem, this is the This is the critical thing that we should be able to do、mm. to enable the normal people to to use the technology. Yes, and we we can only do that if we can leave speculation behind and make it useful for everybody. And what Galaxies has done is. They we took NFT technology and made it useful, and it is now useful for everybody, even if you are not a Web3 person. And I think this is we can either do this or we will perish as an industry. Make it useful to the everybody. Very good idea. Yes, yes, yes. And this is what Galaxy says. Yeah. Yes. Now we let's talk about、uh, outputs. Your project has been so popular as a publisher of celebrities NFTs from Mr. Kilmer and Steve Aoki. Are these strategic approaches? All these things. That was. It was important for uh, uh, for multiple point of views. One of the most important thing is that if you want to build a platform. You need to know what works, what doesn't work.、Mm. 
So when we engage with these high profile uh, cases, we learned, we learned a lot what will work and what will not work. So based on that, we could actually put together the platform and refine and reduce and make it simpler. But without those engagements, we would not have known what exactly we need to put into the platform uh, 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 to make it work. So I think those were really, really great uh, experiences. And we are really glad to be able to be industry first. In many cases, many cases, people did not even know. I mean, the public did, did not even know that we are behind certain projects. There are some that we can't mention, but uh, there are a couple that we can. For example, we we worked together with the NBA, with the Basketball Association of uh, uh, America, uh, a couple of years ago. That was a great project brought together by uh, Chainlink, one of our biggest partners and uh, and benefactors. And we created uh, player cards for the NBA yeah. on the Ethereum network, where every card had a player, and every day the players uh, changed based on how they on the field on the basketball court so that was a very very dynamic experience which is now in many ways built into the platform for everybody to uh, to access so these kind of projects for the high profile partners all were a learning experience to to integrate that into the platform which is now available for everybody Okay, I think was a, a very experimental trial or experiences for the galaxies to yeah. engage the community inside and outside. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yes, I think the participation of the well known people is meaning of well organized security and usability on the platform, isn't it? Oh, yes, absolutely. And because of that, we actually had to figure out how to make uh, galaxies useful for normal people as well. Because well-known people very often come with uh, non-blockchain audiences. Yeah. And we did, we did make it happen with our biggest projects. It was about 50-50 uh, of blockchain and non-blockchain mm -hmm. engagement. And uh, it was successful for everybody. So what you will see on Galaxies as well, that you can actually create your own community. And you can have normal people come with a credit card and get a membership card from you. They won't be able, won't be, won't have to understand blockchain technology. They won't have to get into the, uh, to the deep details of MetaMask and, and whatnot. But they will, they can just uh, use the Galaxies community as an online community. The only thing is, which they may not understand at the beginning, that this is something now that they have received that nobody can take it from you, from them. And I think they will really like when they will figure out that how this community is different from, uh, from other communities. Uh, now I just want to ask you about the necessity of a blockchain in this platform, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, what if somebody hear about your explanation of the Galaxy's or the NFT system? Uh, maybe they can ask you why the blockchain needed for the NFT and the Galaxy's platform indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, there is only basically there is only one reason mm. right now. Blockchain is the only technology that can create a digital object, which is, could be a membership card, Yes, that can actually be owned by the owner. Mm. Everything else is like lives on a server. And when they switch off that server or they take your account, you are gone. We have seen many people being... Uh, uh, blocked or removed from let's say x or youtube because of because of reasons maybe very good reasons maybe maybe not very good reasons yes but definitely against their uh, uh, their will and when 
those people get get removed, they are, what they are losing is not access to, let's say, YouTube or X or whatever. What they are losing is their community. They lose access to those hundreds of thousands of people who are actually interested in them. So what galaxies can do, you can create your community that nobody can take from you. And after that, you can engage with all those platforms. Galaxies is not a replacement for YouTube or for for X or for, for any other of the great platforms out there. It's, it's an addition. And what you get is uh, your community stays with you as you potentially move from, uh, from an old platform to a new platform. And I think this is, and this can only be done with using blockchain. Thank you for the answer. And also, can you tell me the advantages on using Galaxy's platform for Web3 buildings? I think the most important advantage is that we made it as simple as possible. You can create your community, you can create your membership card, you can create your other assets that make sense for you and for your community without having to write a code or without having to hire somebody who does it for you. Yeah. This is a very nice web-based web interface where you can create everything without having to write a single line of code. And I think this is the this is a, this is a great advantage. And I found a Galaxy's token actually uh, on the website explanation. What are the utilities of the token? Uh, can you tell yes. me? Yes, it is a very simple, very pure utility token, which means basically that if you hold it certain things will become accessible to you. So it's a utility token and you hold this token and then you will be able to do a lot more things on the platform. This is not a payment token. You don't spend it. You hold it if you want to use the platform. And if you don't want to use the platform, you don't hold it. But it's purely a utility token, which is going to bring benefits to you yourself and for your whole community as well. And based on who you are, because you can be a community creator or you could be one of the community members, the creator has different utilities and the community members have different utilities. And by holding this token, utilizing this token, mm. they can benefit from the utilities and from the, from the services of the platform. Okay. Actually, I just want to ask you about all the things from the Galaxy's platform, uh, everything mm -hmm. you got, but we have focused on small part of the things you got. So is there anything you want to talk about more? I think the basics are the Galaxy's can do a lot of things. You can do a lot of things. You can gamify your membership card. You can build very uh, elaborate things. You can actually create the rules of your community that makes sense for your community and your community alone. So again, you can express the values of your specific community through Galaxies. But this is not even important at the beginning. Yeah. What is important is that very simply, you can go to the platform, create your community, create your membership cards, and let your members on board. And that's it. Once you get there, now you have an unbreakable bond between you and your community members. And then you can start building up on it and, uh, and utilize it for, uh, for ages to come. But this is the simple, this is the simplest thing that uh, people can uh, need to understand. They can create their community on galaxies. They don't need to give up anything else. So it's not a replacement. And once they have members, through this community, nobody can take that mem those mm. numbers from them. Maybe this is a final question of this interview today. Uh, as a pioneer of NFT ecosystem and a pioneer of crypto market, as I mentioned, the NFT market has been so diminishing for some reasons. And what do you think the next chapter for NFT and the crypto market? Utilities. It yeah. has to be utility. Mm. Again, in many ways, it, it needs to become boring. 
we need to make this boring and make it accessible and understandable by we uh, by all people if we we as the web community we if we cannot enable this technology to be used by the normal world then we are going to fail and we are going to perish so i think the most important thing is now that we need to take the technology take it beyond the hype give it utility and enable people to to use it for their own purposes normal people normal communities non web3 people because if we can do that then we will see that suddenly we have 100 times or 1000 times or 10000 times more business and people who are interested in what we are building and we need to get there utility is very important utility yes utility this is a real final question uh, what do you feel or what do you think about the career market to the galaxies? I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, again, uh, my first success, uh, real success in, in business happened when, uh, when I, uh, I engaged with, with a Korean company. Yeah. Uh, and I really, really would like to do this again. I think the Korean market is, uh, is more mature than the than the average uh, of the world, and uh, it would be our honor to uh, to be present there uh, properly again. And we are working on that. When was time you visit in Korea? Uh, the first time when I was there, it was I think two thousand eight uh, when. 2008. Uh, or 2009 when i actually joined wiki uh, uh wiki.com the the first couple of weeks and months we actually worked from korea uh in from seoul and that's why that time the company was very small like five people and then we moved to singapore and then uh, we had like 60 people uh and uh, and everything but yeah but even even since then we have visited korea a couple of times with family yeah. because this is one of our favorite places yeah i hope to see you in seoul in the very near future and thank you for we might actually be yeah going yes thank you mr andreas Kristal, for joining us today interview let us talk about platform very in detail in next interview probably yes yes absolutely yeah thank, thank you very for much for the opportunity yes thank you see you then thank you bye 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 네, 지금까지 미래 돈을 만나보는 퓨처머니 웹3 플랫폼 기업 갤럭시즈의 안드라스 크리스토프 공동 창업자 겸 CEO와 함께 했습니다. 자, 유틸리티가 가장 중요하다는 크리스토프 공동 창업자의 말을 기억하면서 오늘 방송 마치도록 하겠습니다. 안녕!